And Worrell's removal came days after two Orlando police officers were shot during a downtown traffic stop. That man later killed by police was out on bond. West News Dave McDaniel is live at Orlando Police Headquarters with a reaction from there. Dave. Well, Stuart, we're still waiting to hear back from the Orlando police chief. We asked him earlier today if he wanted to comment on the removal of Monique Worrell. Both of his officers are expected to recover from that Friday night shooting. One of them released from the hospital just yesterday. Full offender. And then just this past weekend, uh, Worrell was at the center of another major controversy. The Friday night shooting of two Orlando police officers was part of the governor's justification for Worrell's no, removal. Dayton Veal arrested for sexual battery in March, later shot and killed by SWAT officers after the downtown shooting. He was still let out on bond and then tragically shot two Orlando police officers. The only individual who can be blamed for incidents like these is the individual who took those actions. The perpetrator of these horrific events that's the person who's to blame. We're all saying Monday the bond for Veal was a matter decided by the court following the law. Certainly we're going to work together. Orange County Sheriff John Mina sparred with Worrell after three people were killed in Pine Hills back in February, saying that suspect caught a legal break, allowing him to be out. Mina and Worrell appearing together for an event where he discussed his view. Honestly, they need to face consequences. Consequences so their friends see that, wait a minute, if I commit a crime, I'm not coming back for a little while. I might go away. Upon Worrell's removal, this from Sheriff Mina. Our focus at the Orange County Sheriff's Office is to protect our community from violent criminals. We rely on our partnership with the state attorney's office to ensure those offenders are held to account and kept off our streets. We look forward to working with Judge Andrew Bain in his new role as state attorney. And from Osceola County Sheriff Marco Lopez, the criminal justice system only works when law enforcement investigates and arrests those who commit crime and the state attorney's office prosecutes those offenders. We welcome Judge Andrew Bain as the new state attorney and look forward to our offices working together for justice. The victims of crime in Osceola County will always come first. And coming up at five, more on the cases that the governor cited today as evidence of why he felt he needed to remove the state attorney. Reporting live at Orlando Police Headquarters, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.